Hey, good morning, sixth grade. This is your math lesson for April 23rd, Thursday, April 23rd. Lesson 157 is due today. We will grade part of that or just yeah, get the answers for part of it anyway and talk a little bit about lesson 158 that is due on Friday, April 24th. So please look at your lesson 157 paper. If you're listening to this, you're going to want your lesson 157. And let's just look at some of these answers. Make sure we're on the right track. Please, if you get these answers wrong, if you get a certain part wrong, check it out. See what you're doing, all right, so that you don't keep making the same mistake. My advice, the advice that I give you when you're here with me applies to... Uh, the way you're doing school now too. If you're getting the same one, the same kind of problem wrong time after time, then uh, go back and figure it out, okay? Go back to the lesson or call me, please call me, okay? Don't keep getting the same one wrong over and over. Number one, lesson 157. This is the time one. She left home at 3.10 p.m. and returned two hours and 20 minutes later. So you're just adding two hours and 20 minutes to 310 to give you 5.30 p.m. You must have your a.m.s and your p.m.s. Whenever you do time ones like this, your a.m.s and your p.m.s, 5.30 p.m. Number two is 60 yards. Number three, Five meters squared. Number four, six kilometers squared. Number five, 57.2 pounds. Number six, 15.2 liters. Number seven, 0 0.321 hectograms. Number eight, 34,300 milligrams. Number nine, 44 and 4 ninth percent. Number 10, five pounds, two ounces. And just look at number 20 yet. This is an interest one. She borrowed $18,000 for three months. What is the decimal for three months? Three over 12 reduced is one over four, which is 0.25. So you're 18,000 times 0.25 times 0 0.02. Her interest is $90. The answer for number 20 is $90. And those are all the answers I'm going to give you on that. All right. 158. Volume of a cube. Now a cube... This is a rectangular solid, a cube, and I was going to bring a cube along, but I yeah, forgot to look for one. I haven't been able to find a perfect cube, but a, a cube is a box that has every edge is exactly the same length, okay? So your length, your width, and your height is all exactly the same. So your, your formula for... Uh, volume of a cube. How much does a cube hold? How much space is inside a cube? Volume. Volume of a cube Okay, a cube, all the edges are exactly the same. So your formula is volume equals edge cubed, which is just, it's the same thing of saying, it's still length times width times height. Length times width times height, but all the edges, the length and the width and the height are all the same thing. So this is just edge times edge times edge, not edge times three. So if your edge equals, remember E means edge, if your edge equals 
six feet. Okay, what is your volume gonna be? This is not six times three. Okay, remember that. Uh, so your equation is six cubed. This does not mean six times three. Okay, you'll get the wrong answer every time if you do that. The only thing that you'll get right if you ever do that is two squared, and because then two times two is four. All right, that's the only thing you'll get right. You go five squared, five times two is 10. Five times five is 25. This is six times six times six. All right, that's the biggest thing with exponents. You're not going six times three, you're going six times six times six. Six times six is 36. 36 times six is what? Six times six, 36, three. 18, 19, 20, 21, 216 feet cubed or cubed feet, right? Cubed for volume. That's how many of these little cubes fit in, except for this one, it would be a foot, all right? It would be a cube with these dimensions, a foot cube, all right? All right, sixth grade, I think that's all you need to know. Please do 158 for Friday.